you use this uh, that means as well as please write down uh, with me as well as then as well then enter next enter into enter into next is in these these are the things these are the words where we have to use and you we should use also this these words i will show you when to use in a sentence when to use because if we know how to use them then uh, we can use them in our communication that is oh, that is good for this okay so next i want to say you please write down whenever please don't uh, um, uh, if you don't understand anything please let me know and then i will write the it this one so did you write this all what are the subjects are there to discuss as well as as well enter enter into in and also how to use them in a sentence that one will be shown okay okay so let's start you see number one as well as number one can you see the page here i write as yeah. well as you see as well as as well as is an adverb here so when to use as well as what does it mean actually and that's that should be that should be done first so as well as means that's uh, that means is it's working uh, that means uh, you are combining two sentences that means mm, uh, it's it's coming in lieu of not only not only but also but also this is the meaning we are using in a sentence that not only she is not only beautiful you see i am writing here she is not only beautiful but also but also talented she is not only beautiful but also talented so i used here not only but also and the sentence gets completed the sentence is being completed now i will use as well as here how to use this same sentence using as well as i will write here she is beautiful as well as talented and that is the use of as well as she is beautiful as well as talented here you are using as well as and you are combining two qualities or two things as uh, two things in a sentence using as well as again another sentence i am writing here he he plays he plays football and and he plays cricket okay so two also you can write if it is possible if it is there so you can write he plays football as well as as well as cricket and that is the use of there is the use of as well as not only but also he does not play if i write like this that he doesn't play he doesn't sorry he plays he plays not only he plays not only football 
but also cricket like that also you can write but using not only but also but if you are changing the uh, words uh, in changing the uh, without uh, me, uh, changing the meaning then you can use as well as here he plays football as well as cricket and that's the use of as well as did you got to know how to use this uh, yeah. okay very good so now the second one i will use here as well as well as well it's uh, before i use as well i should know i i got to know the meaning of also also i have to show you where also is shown that means as well is the meaning of two t double or two t double or two and it's also the meaning of also also two meaning also meaning two and uh, as well meaning is also two so when it is used when you are using also it is coming near the verb near the verb that means before the verb it is using it's 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 used but as well when you use as well it will go in the last of the sentence you will use it in the last of the sentence so how to use that also i am using he he plays he plays the badminton 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 match badminton game he also plays he also plays you see i used here uh, he uh, i used here also before the verb he also plays also plays cricket okay here i am using but if i use here as well so how to use that he plays badminton badminton and cricket as well i used the uh, word as well in the last of the sentence and as well after using as well i have made the sentence uh, short a bit and uh, i used and uh, may i i made the sentence completed and that's the use of as well so if you see that i want to go uh, you want to go somewhere that means you want to go to uh, school and your friend also go one uh, wants to go to school so if you are saying that i have to uh, i i have to go to school now your friend will be saying that i i also have to yes also, also no to. i have to i have to do as well i have to uh, do the same as well that's the thing that means you not to write the full sentence i have to also go to the market or uh, sorry i have to also go to the school or uh, like you not like that you have to yeah i have to do the same as well and that's the thing that means as well in hindi its meaning is bhi mujhe bhi and also it's the meaning in here also is the meaning also here is bhi mujhe bhi mujhe bhi chahiye i also need i also need mujhe bhi chahiye so i need as well mujhe bhi chahiye so i if when i use also then i also need here i will show you when i will use also mujhe bhi chahiye if i if i say mujhe bhi chahiye so i also need so this is the word because before the need before the verb also is used in the middle of the sentence but as well if i use as well mujhe bhi chahiye if i want to say that i need as well i need as well and that's the work of the two words and meaning is the same but when you are replacing some word then it's it's going to work like that Sim, uh, in 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 any other different mode of the sentence so it looks very well 
uh, when you uh, use this that's that's very going to work for you that's things so did you use uh, did you know uh, how what to what is the thing here how to use also where to use also and as well okay yeah okay next word i will show you that is enter when to use enter and when to use enter into enter means uh, in the in hindi it's told that uh, matlab um, shuru karna ya uh, pravesh karna enter means shuru karna that is called shuru karna uh, sorry pravesh karna matlab kya andar aana ya andar jana like that okay but enter into is shuru karna shuru karna that means enter into so what's the thing enter if i write this one she enter enters the classroom okay and she enters into the the discussion 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 going on in the in the class what's the difference you can see here please let me know she enter in enters the classroom and next one she enters into the discussion going on in the class so what's the difference you are getting here please let me know did you get any info in difference here or the same two words are same uh can you give me only 1 minute 5 minutes okay yeah. okay no problem okay you are getting which one uh you are getting just uh, preposition that means you are you are seeing here uh, into isn't it uh, into is a preposition here you see and the next one you see that normal sentence is it it is it so yeah ma'am okay so let me uh, clear you one thing when you will use enter you see the first sentence she entered the classroom that means when you will make a physical entry then you will use enter when you will make a virtual entry you will use enter into so what do you mean by physical entry that means uh aap jab uh, that means from any place yes where you are going somewhere touching that means physical entry or uh, you or uh, yourself you are going or someone is coming physically to you meet you like that if it is happening like that then you will use here uh this one uh enter but if you are using in a virtual entry that means you she enters the second one you see virtual entry you see she enters into the discussion class me jo discussion ho raha hai wo virtual hai wo koi physical entry nahi hai usne physics koi matlab physical entry nahi hai theek hai wo discussion class me jo discussion ho raha hai usme wo bhag le raha hai and here he, he wo directly pehle sentence mein what the sentence first sentence is telling she enters into the that means she physically entering in the class and next one okay, is she e, and she is entering to the discussion going on in the class and that's the difference again i will tell you another sentence here the rat the rat entered the hole okay entered the okay. hole so again i see the rat entered into the the entered into the big and 
entered into the big and tricky tricky system of the whole that means yeah in the whole what is the holes holes definition is told okay enter the big and tricky system of the whole that means in the in the when it would be in, in there are many rules and regulation there are many systems are there that means that that uh, that rat has to cross the systems and then only it will uh, enter into enter the enter into the hole but it here what the th thing is there uh, the rat uh, the rat entered the hole that means directly okay. physically it has entered so th when there is virtual virtual thing virtual system will be there virtual entry then you will uh, enter into and when you will enter uh, in physically then you will be entering uh, into the uh, in enter you uh, you will be using so again i'm uh, uh, saying another sentence here she yes ma'am can we go on our session tomorrow ma'am tomorrow okay for one minute you stay then we shall uh, end up this one okay okay very good she entered into the business business in 2016 so she entered into that means she started the business in 2016 started the business that means into the business business is not a physical one isn't it so here is written entered into okay so here you can write she entered entered the entered the place where the business business is trained is being trained so this is the this is the difference between enter and entered into okay did you understand yeah okay so we have used here we have known well uh, as well as well as and enter and entered into tomorrow i will be uh, knowing from your side how far you have understood and after that we shall be starting the next part of our session okay Okay. So, yeah, thank you.